What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I think this is like the, I don't know, third video I'm making like this, where people keep asking me or saying, hey, you know, just give up on Shiv. Or you get the comments where people are like, you, are you bipolar or something? Um, I understand where you're coming from by saying that, you know, I may be bipolar or I may not have, um, I may not, you know, want to talk positively about Shib or I, I FUD Shib and all of that other type of stuff. Um, but it's, it's not that at all, right? I am a holder of Shiba Inu. I believe in Shiba Inu short-term and long-term, and it's mainly hovering around the community. It's not because of what the ecosystem dev team does. And that's what I'm trying to make clear. While you have people that understand where I'm coming from with the comments or where I'm coming from with everything that I'm saying, and they're in the comments going, I get what you're saying, you know, treat them separately. While you have others that are like, you're just fudding everything and the ecosystem devs created everything, they're doing everything. And I think those are the people that are being led to believe something that is completely false. Um, so I wanted to kind of touch on that. And I know this is kind of like the third time making a video saying that I'm not giving up on SHIB. Um, and I have to do that after a negative video or something that has some sort of, uh, you know, negative dialogue to it. I, I really don't know how to put it. It's not really, uh, you know, where I'm fudding the position or I don't believe in the position. If I told you I was going to sell everything, I would sell everything and I would have sold everything. I still hold on to it. I still hold on to my short-term SHIB uh, position and my long-term SHIB position. Now, what happens with this and where it goes to crazy prices or um, standard prices or, um, you know, prices that we all believe that it can get to, um, it all depends on what happens, right? It all depends on the burn rate. It all depends on what uh, businesses are being created, what utility it ends up happening or having, all that stuff. So, I, I just wanted to have this conversation with you guys, and uh, I enjoy reading the comments, but there is definitely an, a level to the comments where I'm like, what in the hell is this? Like, <laughs> I believe in shit. I'm not giving up on it. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys wanna follow me on Twitter, at Perry8K, uh, you can follow me there. And if you wanna check out some of the links down below for different exchanges to buy different uh, positions, feel free to go ahead and check out those uh, down below. But um, the reason why this is really coming up is one, because of the comments and two, because I see articles that are like this, uh, meme coin investors are tired of waiting on Shiba Inu and Dogecoin and are running towards uh, whatever other place that they want to end up pushing for that article. Um, and this honestly is how some people feel. It's not about like, oh, well, they just want to push whatever other, uh, coin that they want to push or token they want to push and see, you know, everybody flock to these new projects and that's not really the case um but uh here we go where shiba inu the hype is dying shiba inu is a meme coin launched in 2020 quickly gained popularity among investors throughout 2021 however the coin has recently struggled to maintain its value in the market while shiba inu has uh, some brief spikes in in value it has mostly remained stagnant leaving investors waiting for a significant return on their investments. There are several reasons why Shiba Inu is losing its appeal among investors and traders. One of them is the lack of innovation and development in the project. Unlike other cryptocurrencies that offer unique features and use cases, Shiba Inu has no clear vision or roadmap for its future. It relies heavily on marketing and social media buzz to attract attention and demand. Now, this is honestly what people do think here, right? I would probably say that they also want to include Burns in there. I think people are uh, definitely uh, discouraged when it comes to the burn rates that we end up seeing because the burn rate for Shibarium is going to be kind of non-existent with uh, less than a penny worth of fees and then seeing each transaction only burn that much, even if you're having a, a crazy amount that you end up buying, even if you buy 14 billion or 1.4 trillion uh you know shiba inu tokens it's still only going to be less than one penny um you know worth of a fee so it and it's not buying it's just like trading or moving things around it it's still going to be basically nothing no matter how much you're spending it, it hurts people but 
also you have the understanding that we're not seeing any type of innovation, any type of use cases. And it's not because of us, right? We're trying to create things. You see a lot of different people, a lot of different people that are creating businesses, whether that be a coffee business, um, you know, seeing gaming, seeing NFTs, um, whatever, right? We're trying to build something to, um, you know, create more volume for SHIB or more volume for everything. Um, it, and, you know, we're seeing the community create that, but the ecosystem dev team, which everybody follows for that next best thing for Shiba Inu, even though they've done nothing for Shiba Inu, is not really giving us anything that, you know, we can kind of live off of for use case for a burn rate or anything like that. So it definitely hits, hits us hard when we look at that, you know, um, and even though it's hitting us hard, we're still looking at it as an investment. And I think most people are looking at it like, oh, this needs to be the next best thing and the biggest thing since sliced bread when it comes to a use case, when in fact we have no use case for SHIB and we're seeing some you know, businesses that may be picking up an ability to uh, buy with SHIB. But honestly, if you were gonna take something, right? Let's say right now a million coins, what cost? $10 or something. Let's say you wanted to take that $10. It's a million coins. You wanted to take that $10 and you wanted to buy, I don't know, um, a couple of ice cream cones. It cost $10. And that would be a million coins for you. If you were taking that appreciating asset that a million coins could be worth $1 million, are you going to actually purchase that ice cream with that uh, 1 million Shiba Inu coin? Or are you just going to take the 10 out of your wallet and buy that ice cream with it? Probably the latter. You're going to take the $10 out and buy that ice cream cone with it because the potential or the, the uh, missed opportunity that you can have with Shiba Inu is quite large, you know? Using using an appreciating asset to buy a uh, depreciating asset and something as quickly depreciating as ice cream, um, uh, it's not it's not logical. It doesn't make sense. It makes no sense to me at all, and it's never made sense. So when you have all of these businesses to where you can buy a depreciating product with an appreciating asset. I don't make sense of it and I would never do it. So what you need is something that has a serious use case, something like an Ethereum, right? Or even Bone or even BNB to where you're using that as a form of payment while you're uh, trading that in, in the um, you know, DEXs, while you're trading that in these wallets um, or using it as a form of payment towards NFTs. NFTs have an appreciating value sometimes and you have the chance to pay for it with this with this Ethereum and it has a use case behind it. Ethereum has a bigger use case, right? Uh, Bit Bitcoin does not have any type of use case right now. It kind of has the same thing where it's going to be the world currency, but who's using an appreciating asset to buy a depreciating asset? So I would say it's less about that, less about really the use case because we do have a lot of uh, you know currencies or cryptocurrencies that don't have a use case to it, but still have a lot higher of a value or a lot more popularity. And it's because of the investment side of things. Most people are invested into Shiba Inu because of what they can gain. And if they're investing into this project thinking that they can gain $10,000 off of a $100 investment, that's what they want to gain. You think that they can gain, you know, a million dollars off of a, you know, $2,000 investment. That's what they want to gain. So if they get to the point to where they do not realize um, that they can get to that point, well, now they have to second guess their investment and hope for cheaper prices or, uh, you know, a lower level to accept a gain or get out of the position altogether. But honestly, I'm not giving up on, on Shiba Inu. I'm not saying that Shiba Inu's hype is dying. Um, I think that Shiba Inu still has more popularity than a lot of positions that are out there. And I'll tell you what, you know, as I look into uh, Shiba Inu, and as you dive into the price, you understand that you know things don't really look super positive in where they are. It's kind of been falling um, from where we saw at some of these higher prices of 0 0.00002. But if we go into the contract, um, we're gonna see that you have 1.3 million holders. 1.3 million holders is a lot of people. And I believe in those holders. And until we start seeing that like massively decrease, um, I'm not gonna be worried at all. I'm not giving up on it. 
I believe in the project. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think about it. I know there's a, a lot of people that have their own comments. And honestly, I love to respond back with videos because it creates more conversation and what we should be looking at, um, you know, in the grand scheme of things. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.